Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing a small exercise uh, for how to fixing a manhole and uh, some data rooms are here. So how to connect the duct through these manholes. So here is one, one of the manhole family over here. Then I just want to take it that exercise over here. First of all, this is our data room. So I need to place some uh, data racks over here or ICT rack over here. So for that, I'm going over here. Then you can, you'll, you'll have a data racks over here, different, different kind of uh, data. So I'm using this one. Then I just want to place it over here, just placing like that. So if you go to the 3D view, so you can see it's uh, how it look. Go to 3D view. So you can see uh, that uh, data, data racks you can visible over here. There. So just uh, take it like this. So it was fixing over here, right? And clearly, so the cable need to come below from outside. So it, it is need to be entering to the panel. So how we can run that one, I'll show you. So this is from here, the cable is coming from here and uh, uh, connecting to this manhole. Then it is going through up through this way and connecting to the panel. So for that, you just need to take a electrical fixer. The manhole is come under that. So I'm placing one manhole over here. You can, you can, if you want to change this one, so you can change it from different manholes are available. ELV or electrical telecom manholes are available. So after that, you can just change the, uh, all the elevations and everything from here. Okay then one manhole I place it and after if you if you want to look in the 3d view just go to that and you can get it uh, this one is fixed like that you can clearly see it was fixed in the uh, aligned with the, our ground okay then uh, we just need to uh, take another manhole after this for example I can just uh, say like uh, after 20 meter so I'm just giving 20,000 so the next manhole is come up over here and another manhole I can place over here. So the three manhole I place it, then we need to run our conduit over here. So for example, I just need to take a conduit and uh, the elevation I just want to give us from elevation 600. Just I need to place one duct from here to a next manhole like this. I just given one and another one I just want to connect it to another manhole over here then this from this manhole i need to run the cable directly to this panel then after that you can just make a section and i'm just to take one section and rotate it that one 90 degree so you can enter the cable through the section like uh, go to view then you can see the the that was come up over here and i will just want this one if if it's required i am just changing that one the big one so then you just need to enter up to here, draw conduit, and you can just draw it like that. If you can uh, move it a little bit down, downwards, this one. So wherever you need, so you can down it, that one. I'm just downing up to here, this much level. Once you can see, it was not showing over here, right? So why it was not showing? The level is 1000 minus 1440, right? So what we need to do, we just come to here and I am just changing this one also, some other level. Uh, I can say like a minus 1500. Okay, so it was not visible. So for that, we need to go to view range. Then here, just say like a minus 1600. You can say like 1000 minus 1600. Okay, just click OK. So it will be visible. Like you can see all the uh, ducting, ducts are visible. So after that, you can, uh, if you need to make another uh, conduit, so you can go to parallel conduit and just take the, uh, the three, okay. For example, three conduit you required, okay. For example, here 100 and here also you can make it three. You will try it is working or not. So you can see that that three conduits are uh, created over here. If you can look in the 3D view, you can clearly see the conduits are come up like this. Three conduits are coming like that. And another same way you can need to do over here, conduits. So you can just run this, this one here. 
here also you can do it so all the conduit is coming like on this way so if you look at the 3d view over there you can see the conduits are coming like uh, from the uh, manhole it is coming like that okay you can just uh, uh, if you want to adjust this one you can just uh, make a sections and you can just uh, make it down this whole conduit uh, it is going above if 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 touching anything okay so you can just uh, just select the uh, it is coming from the manhole itself so if you want to change the elevation so you can change it from here make it uh, make it up this all the conduit like this select all conduit and select this one you can move it up uh, up to the manhole like this you can adjust it to all the uh, conduit like that for example i'm selecting this one i just need to adjust to the uh, this one over here so all, all conduit you can see it is going like that right and here also you can change the levels like uh, this level is top level is, oh, here also we can arrange the um, even in the sections you can go and arrange all the uh, conduits whichever height you required so you can adjust it that for example i am going to the view so you can see it was come like this so you can adjust it the heights and everything so and and after that you can give the tag and if here also you required uh, some cables uh, coming from outside so you can uh, you can uh, connect it like that and you can give the tag also for these conduits so whichever the conduits are there you can give it the tags i'm just a free end and then give give the tag like this and uh, you can specify which service uh, services is there so you can just go to edit the family and here you can add the label for the service type so i'm just adding the service type over here click ok then just uh, stretch like that and load into the project it will load okay then overwrite it and it will overwrite so you can add whichever things you need you can add it that one see it is added over here so you can just stretching up to here like that and even you can give the uh, leader types also here you can uh, add the leader types from here so it is the same thing you can uh, give over here also just tag it like that and you can tag from here like this and in the in the panel also you can uh, just give some uh, reference for this so for example the panel name i can give ict rack ict rack ICT rack then you can give that tag for this one okay then uh, the manhole tag also you can give it so manhole tag we can say like uh, the edit type type mark is there so manhole just give a manhole we'll see which uh, this one is which tag they added so this is the this is also panel they added so just to give the panel name um, for example we can say like a panel or otherwise you can edit the uh, this one and uh, add as a circuit type mark you just undo that one just add type mark then click ok then load into the project so it will reflect over there so it is taking little time to updating this one just give a second so it is it is updated over here so if you don't want this leader so you can just move it and you just create similar you can add uh, uh, add the manhole also over here so like that you can give the tag. so this is a simple exercise 
and uh, uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet thanks for watching thank you